Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today's video, you guys have been liking my crockpot videos so much that I decided to kind of switch it up a little bit. And there's Bella eating because every single time I come in the kitchen to film, for some reason she eats. But anyways, um, we are doing a six ingredient or less dump and go crockpot meals. So I have five crockpot meals. All the ingredients in these crockpot meals are six or less. So they're very affordable, very quick and easy to make and super super delicious so i hope that you guys enjoy this video if you are not subscribed i would love if you would subscribe like this video because it helps my channel out more than you guys will ever know and also leave me a comment just to say hi introduce yourself especially if you are new and let's go ahead and get into these five dump and go six ingredient or less crock pot meals okay so for the first dump and go crock pot meal um, this one's going to be five ingredients and the reason why it's five is because I went ahead and I wanted to make it a full meal by putting the potatoes and the carrots in but if you guys don't want to do that and you want to cook that on the side or whatever this is a three ingredient crock pot meal so you're just going to need some bone in pork chops you're going to need two to three tablespoons of ranch dressing mix and then you're going to need 15 ounces of chicken gravy. This right here is 18 ounces, so I'm actually not gonna use the whole thing. But literally, we're just gonna dump in here and go. That's why it's dump and go. And let's go ahead and get started. the whole jar so no biggie um, I also depending on how this goes I might end up adding some more ranch dressing because like I said the three tablespoons of ranch dressing mix was in the recipe for just the pork chops alone and not the carrots and potatoes but like I said we'll see how this cooks up um, I'm just going to put the lid on it turn it on low and let this cook for eight hours and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is what we're working with. It's all nice and bubbly and delicious. This is really good, you guys. This is really, really, really good. Um, I kind of tasted a little bit of, the, of one of the pork chops. It's just delicious. It's like super incredibly tender and juicy. You guys see that? It's like literally like fall off the bone. I mean delish so then we have our potatoes and our carrots so this literally took me six minutes to just pour in this pot and i also take in mind that i also film so i'm also like moving the camera getting the right angle all that stuff so literally this took like minutes to put together and you have this delicious Super flavor, super flavorful, incredibly tasty meal. So, yeah, and it only had five ingredients. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed Dump and Go, five ingredient or less crock pot meal number one, and I will see you soon with crock pot meal number two. Okay, so Dump and Go crock pot meal number two with five or less ingredients is going to be sausage and cabbage. And I do want to say this. I've never made this recipe first off, but second of all, I've never made it with this tricolor coleslaw, which as you can see is shredded. So I don't know how this is going to do. I will let you know um, once this meal is cooked, but the recipe does call for you to take half of a head of cabbage and chop it up but since I want this to truly be dump and go y'all this is truly going to be dump and go and we're not gonna be doing any cutting any chopping any of that stuff so what you're going to need is either half a head of cabbage or a bag of coleslaw which is basically just cabbage um, you're gonna need some water notice that it's in my tumbler I hope you guys were able to get your hands on those um, I also here have two different types of sausage these are both fully cooked 
and they're both super delicious and I just wanted I just wanted the variety because this recipe actually called for just regular kielbasa kiel, how do you pronounce that kielbasa <laughs> I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about it's this kind of sausage only it wasn't the turkey sausage it's like the regular I guess it's pork that's like super delicious but super high in fat so I try not to use that um, but I also wanted to add this in there too because again variety and it's just delicious. So technically this is really only like a three ingredient meal, but we're gonna go ahead and add this fourth ingredient. And of course the fifth one is water. So I'm literally gonna dump all of this stuff in there. I'm actually not even gonna get a knife out. I'm literally just going to open this up and just kind of break these into pieces. So let's do this. So if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It is my goal to be at 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and it is totally a doable goal, but I need all of you guys to help me. So if you just give me a, a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, also, I got this idea from Bella Boo's Lunches. My daughter actually told me to watch this channel the other day and I have been literally sucked into this channel. It is so mesmerizing and so just like, wow, what this mom does for her daughter's lunches. Um, so I will link her channel down below because seriously, you need to go watch her channel. But she also has this, I, I got this idea from her and I was gonna do something, start doing something fun in each of my videos. And that is going to be to hide a hashtag in the video. And if you guys find the hashtag, comment it down below and you guys will be able to be featured as a shout out in my next crock pot video so look out for that hashtag because it's coming up sometime in this video and make sure you comment it down below so go ahead put a lid on it i'm actually getting a late start today so i'm actually going to turn this up on high and check back with you guys in four hours to see how it's looking okay so this has been cooking for four and a half hours and oh that sausage <laughs> looks interesting okay so there's definitely a lot of water obviously left in here but everything has pretty much risen to the top so i'm like should i do the plates i guess i'll plate it up I'll just do one of these sausages and then one of these sausages, which doesn't look very pretty, but trust me, it's going to be tasty because like I said, it was already pre-cooked. It's also been cooking for four hours. So I'm just going to take some of this coleslaw mix. And I definitely say, like if you're on a time crunch, definitely, I mean, you can do the shredded cabbage but honestly i think that you should go ahead and take the extra bit of time to go ahead and just cut up the cabbage yourself and that way it'll be much better so that's what this five or five ingredient or less dump and go crock pot meal looks like and i will see you soon with a new one. Crock pot meal number three is sweet Hawaiian crock pot chicken and it only has four ingredients. You're going to need two pounds of chicken tenderloin chunks. You're going to need one cup of pineapple juice, half a cup of brown sugar, and one third of a cup of soy sauce. And as always, you just dump everything in and turn it on low or high and I'll give you the instructions on what I do in a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I had it on high for two hours and then I turned it down to low. I've had it on low for three hours, so this is what it's looking like. It looks and smells so delicious. And I'm just going to serve this with some rice and some roasted veggies. So I will show you what it looks like all plated up. So this is what our plate looks like. Just have it served over rice for me and then on the side for the kids. And like I said, I just roasted some veggies. Let me show you what I used. I found this at Walmart. It is already 
basically cut up for you and everything. You literally just throw it on your baking sheet, frozen, and you bake it for 20 minutes. And it's got cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and halved Brussels sprouts. And yeah, so this is Dump and Go crock pot meal number three. I will see you guys in a few for number four. So for this Dump and Go crock pot meal, we are making crock pot lemon garlic butter chicken. And I know what you guys are saying. There's a lot of spices sitting over there, which means that the, this isn't technically a six ingredient or less meal, but it totally is because I am counting spices as just one ingredient. So I will link the recipe down below for everything that you're gonna need, but it's basically onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, um, Italian seasoning, lemon zest, salt, pepper, garlic, um, you're going to need uh, some lemon juice, you're going to need some butter diced up, like half a stick of butter diced up, third of a cup of chicken broth, and you're going to need six to eight um, things of, what is this, chicken thighs, <laughs> yes, you're going to need uh, six to eight chicken thighs, so um, yeah, it also calls for cayenne pepper or red pepper flakes, but not a fan of that, so we're not gonna do that, and we're gonna go ahead and just start dumping this stuff in. As you can see, like I said, I have all of my spices right here in this bowl. So one ingredient, two ingredients, three ingredients, four ingredients, five. Let's do this. Top it with your diced butter. Go ahead, turn it on low. Put the top on and cook it for six to eight hours. Or you can put it on high and cook it for three to four hours. So I will show you what it looks like when it's done and also what I'm going to start this with. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It smells insanely delicious. So I cannot wait to eat this. And I'll show you what it looks like all plated up. So I just put mine with some mashed potatoes and some broccoli and then the kids have this little macaroni and cheese cup that you just microwave and I'm telling you guys this recipe is a must I tasted just a little bit of it while I was plating it and I was like OMG it is delicious it doesn't look like much as you can see but it is so 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 good oh my gosh so this recipe is definitely a must but anyways we're gonna go eat and I will see you guys for our last dump and go crock pot meal in just a few. Okay, so for our last and final crock pot meal, dump and go crock pot meal, we are making a turkey breast in the crock pot. And this is called crock pot cranberry turkey breast and you're just going to need a boneless turkey breast, some salt, some pepper, one can of whole cranberry sauce, one packet of this onion soup, seasoning mix, half a cup of orange juice, and then <clears throat> what after you cook it, you're gonna need some cornstarch and some water. So this is perfect if you guys have a small family for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, or if you just have the taste for a Thanksgiving dinner throughout the year and you don't wanna make a huge turkey, this is perfect. So. Let's go ahead and dump this in, and I'm excited for this meal.
cook it on low for five to seven hours. Make sure the internal temperature is 165 degrees. So depending on your crock pot, they don't recommend that you do this on high, by the way. So just go ahead and let this slow cook. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And we will pour in some cornstarch and water to make this um, like a thicker gravy, which I'm so excited for. Okay, so this is what our turkey is looking like. Now you want to go ahead and take your one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of cold water and make a slurry. Now you want to take your turkey out of the crock pot take all of the see as much seasoning as I can off of there take any fat drippings that are in here which I really don't see any so I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of this juice right here and be careful because it is hot but I'm gonna take all of this and put it in a saucepan and you're just gonna let it come to a boil, add your cornstarch, let it thicken, and then you're gonna have your, you're gonna have a nice gravy. So once this starts boiling, you want to then add in your corn cornstarch slurry. And you just want to keep whisking and let it boil for two minutes. And then we're going to come back over to the turkey and pour some over the turkey and then have some left over on the side. flavor on this is so delicious. So there's a piece of um, netting around the turkey breast. So you just want to cut that. You guys see it? Your delicious turkey breast and I'm just gonna drizzle drizzle some of the gravy over it and then you can set it to the side for your mashed potatoes or your stuffing or whatever you please so I will show you what our plate looks like for mine and my kids little mini Thanksgiving dinner okay so here is our plates here are here are our plates and this turkey you guys super delicious to make super tasty and I don't even have that much left over I mean there is a lot left over but not like I would have obviously if I made a full turkey and this is perfect so this is perfect again if you have not a whole lot of people to feed in your family for Thanksgiving or if you just have Thanksgiving on your mind all year round. So simple, so easy, and in six ingredients or less in the crock pot, you can't beat that. So we're going to go ahead and dig in and enjoy our little Thanksgiving dinner. And this will do it for the six ingredients or less dump and go crock pot meals. So I'm just going to do a really quick rundown of each of the meals. The crockpot cranberry turkey breast, delicious. I'll say it again. If you have a small family for Thanksgiving, this would be perfect. Um, or Christmas, or if you just have the taste for Thanksgiving. It was so simple, you guys, so easy and just delicious. So highly recommend that. Me and the kids, oh we so enjoyed the crock pot ranch pork chops. I did add potatoes and carrots to mine. But if you didn't, that would only be a three ingredient crock pot meal. Just insanely delicious. The slow cooker cabbage potatoes and smoked sausage. 
that one's okay. I feel like the sausage, I feel like I cooked it a little too long. The sausage was a little, it was okay. Um, again, it does call for smoked sausage, like kielbasa, kiel kielbasa. And I use turkey, so that also makes a difference. And then I also use chicken, so that also makes a difference as well. And then also, the coleslaw mix did not do as well as I know half of a head of cabbage. So for that one, I would definitely recommend to do it as it says which is the half a head of cabbage cut into chunks, which again, I know isn't so dump and go, but it's literally so quick and so easy that it will take like hardly any time at all. The sweet Hawaiian crock pot chicken, the kids really like that. I was like, eh, it's okay, it's okay. It wasn't my favorite. And then last but not least, the crock pot lemon garlic butter chicken was insanely delicious. I do wanna say that yes, that one was more than six ingredients because of all the different spices. I usually just look at spices. I usually just look at spices as a one ingredient thing. You know, it's kind of like that additional thing to kind of give and boost your, your flavor. This one did have a lot of different spices, but again, I just counted them as one and that still made it six ingredients or less. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see me do another crock pot video, whether it be six ingredients or less, or whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. If you are not subscribed, please do so. And make sure you click the notification bell so you are notified of every single upload. I love you guys so much, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.